And we need to look at the lessons of others. Look how Turkey has been operating in Libya, where it has used the Baraka TB2 UAVs since mid-2019. Those UAVs have conducted intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance and targeting operations against front lines, supply lines and logistic bases. In July last year, they struck the Libyan National Army-controlled Jofra airfield, destroying several command and control nodes as well as two transport aircraft. Or consider Turkey's involvement in Syria and its use of electronic warfare, likely armed drones and smart ammunition to stop tanks, armoured cars and air defence systems in their tracks. According to reports, Assad regime suffered heavy losses, 3,000 soldiers, 151 tanks, 8 helicopters, 3 drones, 3 fighter jets, trucks and 8 aerial defence systems and 1 headquarters, among other military equipment and facilities. Even if only half these claims are true, the implications are game-changing.